Onboarding and training sales reps. One, you start by signing a contract, sign all the agreements, NDAs, etc. Very important. Two, you wanna go through your entire product with them. They need to know what is included in each week of your info product. They need to know what the outcome is generated from each week. Three, create a mini sales course. Now it doesn't have to be like an actual course. It can be a literally two hour video of you going through your script. It can be something that simple where you go over all the objections, tonality, pauses, the nuances that work and why. The more detail you give, the faster they'll get closing just like you. Document all the magic that you personally use. Next is four, they have to listen to at least 15 recorded calls. Provide them as many diverse examples as possible. Five, you want them to shadow for at least two days. If it's virtually, what you can do is you can set up Zoom, um, call them via Slack or Skype, share your screen and show live scenarios of you talking to people over Zoom. And obviously they just mute themselves so they can't be heard. This immersion is very powerful. Six, get them to do their first 20 calls ASAP. And their goal is to close one to two deals with a closing rate of five to 15%. Next is within the first 20 to 50 calls, after 20 calls, they should be closing to or near your rate of 20% plus. Now, if they're not trending this way, you need to listen to their calls to discover why. Listen to their calls entirely and take notes. What specifically did they do wrong? Jump on a 45 minute call with them and walk them through what happened. Sometimes all it takes is just a couple key adjustments which they may not be seeing or know how to change. Now let's break down, why would they not be closing like you? There's only two possible reasons. One is a commitment problem. If it's a commitment problem, doing many coaching calls possible will make no difference. Solution is to give them a serious heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Option two, it's a skill execution problem. And if it's a skill execution problem, if they keep doing these coaching calls, they will improve. After 50 plus calls, they're either closing like you or they're not. If they're not, fire them. If they are, you're done. Less and less coaching will be needed. Nine, train for self-managing reps, meaning you shouldn't have to pump them up every day or coach them on every single call. Teach them in a way where they can self-correct and improve on their own. If they cannot get to this level, we need to fire them. Next is 10, very important. Create a sharing and winning culture. Continuously talking about best practices to improve their skills. Create like a transparent leaderboard where there's no hiding of the best reps or best practices. Next is daily checking. This is something that you or your sales manager should do on a daily basis. Check leaderboards. Check individual trackers for completion. So it's really important for your team members to do pre-calls and post-call follow-up emails because if you don't, your shop rate is going to be horrible. On top of that, monitor for dips in lead quality. Monitor your rep's state of mind. Make sure the sales tracker is accurately completed. Include uploaded call recordings to a sales specific drive. And rep should be uploading this and updating this daily and verify all sales or commissions. Lock it in on a sheet so it's finalized. So yeah, those are the 11 things that you have to do when you're onboarding and training salespeople. This, I've probably, in the last like two months, I probably like blew $50,000 just learning this process, just wasting a lot of leads, burning it on salespeople that weren't doing well, uh, and you, hopefully you guys just by watching this can save that $50,000 loss um, that I had to lose.